Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing my 37 and 38 week pregnancy update. I've been super busy, so I'm just gonna combine these two and make it a lot easier. And yeah, I am super pumped to share with you guys what has happened within these past two weeks. So let's shut up and jump into the video. guys hear like noises in the background it's something I can't control that's outside but anyways so for my weight I'm 146 pounds um, I was like 117 pre-pregnancy so I think I'm doing pretty well I think this is about the amount that I gained with Wilder as well I have gained a few more pounds over these last few weeks I remember telling you guys it was like 141 or something like that but that's okay, I really don't care. Baby is the size of a winter squash, according to the Baby Bump app, which those of you that are pregnant and don't have that app, I seriously recommend it. I really love the Baby Bump app. I had a freaking ch cheese it in my shirt. Don't ask me how, don't ask me why, I have a toddler. Anyways, but yeah, I cannot imagine a winter squash in my belly. Like, that's just so insane. I, I can't believe it. The kicks are getting really, really hard. And it looks like my fist like rumbling across my belly, if that makes sense. So it's definitely very, very visible. So as most of you know, I do these pregnancy updates like a week behind just because it makes better sense to me in my head to do it that way. That way I can tell you everything that's happened within that past week. So yeah, I am eight days until delivery and that is just so crazy. I'm just overflowing with so many emotions and it's so exciting and nerve wracking at the same time. Yeah, there's just been a lot of different emotions that have been going on throughout my head and Garrick as well. There's just been a lot that's going on. So I'm really considering starting to daily vlog from here until delivery just so I can capture all of those moments and the emotions and everything in between. There's just been a lot that has been happening and I don't want to forget any of this, you know? For those of you that have asked, I do have a regular uploading schedule. It's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I normally post around like 4 or 5 p.m. ish, but yeah, I'm really considering daily vlogging until delivery and then I'll go back to my normal Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploading schedule. If you guys would want to see that or if you guys would be interested in like all the baby and the nesting and just like prepping until delivery, let me know. As far as cravings, I've been really craving cheese still a lot. What's weird for me is I've been really craving Pepsi and like Coke. It's probably just like a caffeine kick that I am really craving and I think it's probably because I haven't been sleeping. It's getting really difficult with this big belly to get comfortable. I literally have only one position that I can sleep in now and it's very specific. I have to have like a body pillow and sleeping on my left side and Garrett cuddling me from the back so I can have like my legs slightly on him. It's like a whole thing, but I'm trying to enjoy this last bit of pregnancy that I do have. Sleep has just been really difficult for me and I think that's why I'm ca craving caffeine. Anyway, my ribs have been hurting so, so bad and I think it's the way the baby is just like positioned or something. Um, I don't know if there's like a leg or like something in my ribs, but it hurts so bad at nighttime. I think just because it's been so irritated throughout the day, I go to lay down and it's just, it feels like I've ran a marathon or something. And you know, that really sore feeling, that achy feeling in your muscles, it just feels like that in my ribs. It's really irritating. I haven't experienced this at all. I didn't experience it with Wilder. I feel like this pregnancy, I've really experienced a lot of different things than I did with Wilder. So. I am so curious whether or not I'm having a girl or a boy. I just, I cannot wait. Stretch marks. I've gained a lot more stretch marks within these past two weeks. And on my stomach too. I never got them on my stomach with Wilder, but I definitely have this pregnancy. And on like the back of my calves, which I found kind of weird. But yeah, they're just right on my lower stomach. And I really should get better about applying more coconut oil so it's probably my fault but yeah definitely stretch marks and a really really itchy belly i can no longer see anything to shave like it should be a sport 
to try to shave while you're this pregnant and this big shave anything that is my lower body it's literally it's a whole ordeal it's just it's so hard and draining and you think something as simple as shaving would not be that big of a deal but it is when you have a belly that is this big speaking of this big belly i don't fit into any of my clothes literally none of my clothes and i'm too stubborn to go out and buy new clothes because i'm about to deliver i just think that would be really stupid and yeah i just don't fit any of my clothes so i've been wearing onesies which doesn't bother me you guys know that but onesies leggings that i, I have a few pair of leggings that i still fit into and like oversized t-shirts and that's been my ootds for the past month i feel like like i said i've been really really emotional um especially nearing the end of my pregnancy number one because this could be my last pregnancy you never know um, I don't know if Garrick and I plan on having any more kids or, you know, what our future holds. So this could potentially always be, you know, the last pregnancy. So that has got me a little bit in my feelings as well as just Wilder. This is like the last week of Wilder being an only child. And I know that may sound crazy to some people. You're like, duh, you're pregnant. You're going to have another baby. Of course, your son is not going to be an only child anymore. But the more that my pregnancy is progressing, especially this last week, I'm like, wow, you know, Wilder is only going to be an only child for this last week. And see, like I'm an emotional wreck. And it's not that we're not excited for this new baby to be here because I am literally over the moon excited. Garrick and I are so, so, so happy. But at the same time, it's just, it's going to be a big change for Wilder as well. Until you're in my shoes and you are about to deliver a second child, I guess you wouldn't really understand these kinds of emotions um, because it's like you're extremely excited for a new baby. But at the same time, like your other baby, you know, you're trying to savor those last few moments that you have just with them if that makes sense and it's something that i've been struggling with for sure and god i didn't know this was going to turn into this garrick and i cannot wait for wilder to have a sibling for him to meet his brother or his sister but these emotions you just can't escape when you're parents and it's just something that i feel like is totally normal and yeah it's just the emotions are just overwhelming at times. It's just something that I have been struggling with. So that is another thing. The emotions are definitely hitting me hard um, as this pregnancy is progressing and the hormones and just everything. I just hope it balances out whenever I give birth. I'm still having contractions all the time, but they're not anything that's consistent enough for me to like go into the labor and delivery or family birthplace to have them check it out it's not that serious they're just braxton hicks i think my belly is always always tight and my doctor just told me like you're a tiny person your baby doesn't really have that much room and that's why i feel like i'm just I, I, obviously as a pregnant woman like you're uncomfortable especially near the end but I think that's my, why my ribs and all right here is so sore all the time and why my belly is super tight all the time. I just, I don't have any more room left and this baby is ready to come. Oh my gosh, another thing is something called lightning crotch. I don't know, I never really experienced this with Wilder either. Like I said, there's so many different things that I've experienced, but this is one of them, lightning crotch. So basically it's like your baby is is lower in your body obviously that's the best way i can explain it that's how i was explained and he or she is hitting nerves like down there so it's just making a really uncomfortable feeling down there it's it's hard to explain without feeling the feeling you know what i mean and it's just kind of something that caught me off guard like i said because i've never experienced it so i was like when it first happened, I was like, what the heck is going on? Anyways, as most of you guys know, I am having a scheduled C-section. And the reason being, and I've talked about this a lot on my channel, but to sum it up, I've just, it's not safe for me or the baby to have a V-back. It's just a safer route for me to have a C-section. 
And so that's what we're doing and it's scheduled for January the 15th and I can't eat past midnight that day before. So I was gonna ask you guys, what do you recommend eating that day before and like at what time and yeah, just give me some ideas on what I should eat that will give me the most energy, keep me full as long as possible. I remember with Wilder, I was so, so hungry after my C-section and my friend told me the same. I'm just, I don't wanna be so caught up in being starving. So comment below what you guys ate before your C-section or what you guys think. Give me some ideas, help your girl out. I am so pumped. You guys don't even understand. Garrick's gonna be there with me. Um, Garrick's parents are gonna be watching Wilder. I've gotten some comments asking, where's Wilder gonna be? Garrick's parents are gonna be watching him at our house and Cameron is gonna be with me. Garrick's gonna be with me. And I'm just, I'm so excited. I can't wait for Garrick to just announce to me that we're having a baby boy or a baby girl. I just, I can't wait. It gives me goosebumps every time just thinking about it. But yeah, I just cannot wait for Garrick to announce the gender of our freaking baby. I'm just, I'm so pumped. But yeah, definitely stay tuned you guys for a delivery vlog. Um, and just like the whole experience on that day, we will be posting that following day. So. My C-section is scheduled for Tuesday, January the 15th, and that video will be live on Wednesday. I also have one more doctor appointment left until the delivery day, so I will be taking you guys along with us, of course. So stay tuned for that video as well. That will be going up sometime this week. Can you guys believe that I only have one more of these pregnancy updates until delivery? I just, I can't believe it and I'm so grateful for every one of you that have just followed along and subscribed to our channel and just became part of our family and it just, it means so much to me from the bottom of my heart. I'm just, I'm so grateful that I'm able to sit down and talk to this camera and just talk to all of you guys and, you know, be able to relate to one another. It's just, YouTube is an incredible thing and I'm just, I'm so pumped and I'm so excited and I'm so grateful to be a part of it. And I'm just so blessed for each and every one of you that follow along our journey. And I can't wait to share with you guys all of the newborn phase, our delivery vlog, our hospital stay. I'm just, I'm so excited. I know I said that a million times in this video, but I just, I have butterflies. <laughs>37 and 38 week pregnancy update if you guys like this video as always please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you have not already click that little notification bell so like i said you guys don't miss any of the upcoming videos we're so excited but yeah guys stay tuned and we will see you in the next one